What is it like to be an adult with a visible disability? Me, one hand smaller than the other, and I tell you, go, like going on dates and stuff like that. You know, Hinge, Tinder, you know, you, they're so upfront. Um, so I've got to come up with tactics. I've got to find ways to bring it up. My main tactic used to be to just hide it. Just used to hide my hand. I used to hide it and then wait until the person in front of me and I was certain that they really, really liked me and then I'd reveal it like a shit raffle prize. There you go, have that. <laughs> I was going on this first date with a girl and she was this really cool like Swedish girl and she she had a master's in photography How did I know this? I've been googling her <laughs> uh, So she was this cool photographer and I was well uh, a guy with a weird hand from Hull um, <laughs> So we didn't know how it was gonna go and uh, I turned up hiding my hand I had my hand in my pocket. I had my other arm crossed over I was really apologizing for myself and I was wearing a big coat and I was doing all this so I wouldn't look weird and the first words out of her mouth to me were, are you OK? <laughs> and that's when I realised, and I was like, oh, I look like a sex pest with a hole in my pocket. <laughs> so I had to cover it. And you know how I covered it? I said, oh, sorry, yeah, I injured my arm rowing. Rowing. <laughs> I've not rowed a boat. And then she said, how often do you go rowing? And I said, once a week. And boom, I'm living a double life. That's it. <laughs> we actually start talking. and. It's going quite well. And I get her a drink, I come back to her and I pass her her drink, and to my surprise, she starts holding my hand, right? Now, this is a positive thing for most people on dates, but for me, I've got alarm bells going off. Because I haven't told her about my hand yet. She's gonna notice it before I've told her it, and notice it before I've had chance to convince her it's worth looking past. In my head, she could be talking about ABBA, or pickled herring, or Thor, or whatever Swedish people want to talk about. I can't hear it, because what's going on in my head is, she's gonna notice your hand. She's gonna notice your hand. You haven't told her about it. And while this turmoil is going on in my head, I forget something pretty important about my hand. The nerve endings aren't fantastic. And when I'm holding somebody's hand, I can't always tell how hard I'm gripping. Sometimes I can't tell if they're trying to get out. At this point, she must be thinking, bloody hell, this guy's needy at best. <laughs> but finally, she, gets, she speaks up and she's like, can I have my hand back, please? And I'm like, you didn't bring a hand back. She said, no, <laughs> can I have my hand back, please? Oh, right, of course, yeah. And then I had to explain. I thought I had to come clean. I said, I'm not who you think I am. I'm, I'm not East Yorkshire's top rowing champion. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm ju I've, just got a, I've just got a condition of my hand. I was, I was hiding it from you. And then sometimes when I'm holding people's hands, I can't tell. And she said, I know. I said, how? And she says, I've been Googling you. <laughs> and the first thing that comes up is comedian with small hand. <laughs> um, but then she went on to say, I just wanted to hold your hand at the beginning of the date to let you know that everything was OK and I didn't mind. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, it never worked out for me and her. She had this mold on her face, hated it. <laughs>